What's up, everybody? It's me, Mr. I'm Leader One, back again on the Mr. I'm Leader One Vlogs channel. You're on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review. Uh, yeah, but a really small review on Human Centipede 3, the final sequence. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm really big into gore, gory horror, just sick shit. Um, not really big into the torture thing. You can definitely consider this torture. This is really just messed up. Uh, especially the second one, you know. If you want my opinion, uh, the first one's more story-based. Second one is more, you know, gore, sick, twisted, is gory. Uh, and the third one, this one, is more comedy. So, you know, choose between what you want. Uh, if you want to watch from the first one to the third one, be my guest, go for it. I, you know, whatever, do what, do what you like. Watch the second one, then watch the third one, then watch the first one. Whatever. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. This movie, uh, as you can already know, if you've already watched the trailer, it's about the very, it's gonna be about the very first human centipede. I mean, not the human centipede, but the very first prison centipede. You can see, 500 prisoners will be stitched butthole to mouth. Venice. <laughs> no, but like, it's a really good movie. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's funny. And I know a lot of people are saying, you know, well, the main character, you know, the main, you know, actor, he's the star. He's just, he's just blabbering around. You don't understand him. And that's, that's true, actually. That is true. Because... Most time you're not gonna understand them, but you, if you pay attention to it, you will. That's what I did. I paid attention to the main star. You know, there there are basically two stars in it. Uh, you got the first one and the second, which I really like. They brought back the main. They brought back the guys from the first one and the second one. They even brought back guys from the second one. You know, different people, different actors. For those that have watched the second film, they brought back the psychiatrist. Uh, that is what it is. The psychiatrist of the main star in the second one. Uh, that, like, molested him and shit. They brought him back, which is really cool. They brought back, you know, a lot of people from the first and the second one. It was, it was like, you know, to, to end it all. You know, bring everybody in. Finish up the movie. And, surprisingly enough, it was good. You know, from all the reviews I read, I was, you know, this is not going to be good. But then I watched the trailer a few times, and I'm like, you know, this might be good, actually, you know? And it is. For those that just want to have a quick laugh, you know, uh, even the se different scenes, you know, I, ha I had a little cringe moment every once in a while, like maybe once or twice, but that was about it. You know, um, people watched the part where, with the uh, castration scene. And that actor that, that, that was in that scene was a really good actor. I love that actor. He's done a lot of good movies. Been in a lot of good movies. I don't know if he's ever written or directed or anything. But he's been in a good lot of good movies. So anyway, that scene, eh, kind of, a little, like a little bit of cringe. But that was about it. Um, you're probably thinking, well, what the fuck's wrong with you? If you don't find that cringeworthy, what are you? <laughs> True. Maybe it's because I don't show it. It was pretty fucked up. But, I don't know. It just wasn't that bad, you know. It wasn't, if it's not happening to me, then whatever. Who gives a fuck? So, my rating for this movie would have to be about... Uh, I, I don't really know, like... Because, you know, it's great camera work. Of course. Just... You know, it's funny. It's got the sick, twisted shit that you've been looking for. But, um... I get about... <sighs> Fuck, I don't really know. I, I should have thought about this before. But every time I do a review, I just... I don't worry about it. I just bring it up and talk about it. Um... So it's about a four... Three or four out of five. Because it's... You know... Me, personally, I'd give it a 4 out of 5. Because, you know what? Not everything's perfect. Not 
no movie out there is perfect. Except for Jeepers Creepers. No, I'm kidding. Like I said, no movie out there is perfect, you know? Nothing's perfect. When I get per I get kind of personal with this stuff, you know, nothing's perfect, nothing's normal, nothing. Nothing is. You know, you can say whatever you think is normal, what you think you say whatever you think is perfect. This movie's not perfect. Definitely. It's far from perfect, but you know, and like like with Jimmy Creepers too, as well. And Jimmy Creepers as well. This is, for those who don't know, it's my my favorite, all time favorite horror film. Watched it when I was like four years old. I was so scared. This movie scared me so much. I forced myself to watch it over and over and over again because it was such a good movie. Second film, by the way. Watch the second Jeepers Creepers, then I watch the first. So anyway, back to this. Yeah, about a three or four out of ten. I mean, a uh, fuck that. Three or four out of five. Uh, six, well, so maybe eight out of ten for this movie. I love it. It, it was a good time, good time, good movie to waste time, and you know it was entertaining. So that's my review on Human Centipede Three: Final Sequence. Oh, I think I ought to do a little something, something. No, I'm kidding. This is a pelt. No, this is like a BB gun. You know, put the BBs in there. CO2. Still hurts like a bitch. I got... No, it's gone. Never mind. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. And uh, enjoy your day.